All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Tuesday afternoon team call uh, with the Dynasty Strong. I want to remind you guys that we are empowering others to continually develop into their fullest potential. And obviously, our mission as a company is to end the trend of obesity, help others live healthier, more fulfilling lives. So as you're out there striving for whatever goal is next, I know inside of the team, there's a couple of different um, programs going on, like training boot camps and whatnot. There's a, a BAT group. <laughs> for accountability on the business activity tracker. There's a four week um, diamond push going on for those of you that guys that qualified for that. Uh, as you push for those goals that we remember what our mission is, uh, continually working on ourselves, growing ourselves through personal development and helping serve others. And the more lives that we change, our income, our rank will be impacted by that. So let's make sure we don't get those flip flop uh, that we stay focused on what's most important and the rest will follow. Um, I'm going to introduce our guest speaker who I absolutely will announce that Laura in the group. So um, I want to introduce uh, our guest speaker, Michelle Harris. She has been with us for a long time. She's one of the OG great, great grandma coaches to many coaches on this team as well. Um, she is a former teacher. And she came into this team through Jennifer Greenberg's downline. And I was just chatting about Jennifer and her journey as a coach with Laura on our one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one call right before we hopped on here and kind of about uh, Jennifer's journey. So anyway, Michelle is a part of her downline and she has over 100 consecutive months in success club, which is absolutely incredible. She was the very first coach in the entire Dynasty Strong downline to achieve that. So she's the real deal. She's she's the woman, the myth, the legend, Michelle, <laughs> Michelle Harris. So I'm going to pass the time over to you, Michelle, and let you share with us your tips. All right. Well, thank you for that introduction. I don't know about that, but <laughs> I am very excited to share with all of you. I'm going to share my screen. I put together just a couple of slides um, to, you know, introduce myself and give, give a few tips. Um, so just for those of you that do not know me, yes, I'm like a great grandma coach. Um, I have been coaching now for over nine and a half years. My 10 year anniversary will be in January, um, which is crazy to think about because actually I was an elementary school teacher for 10 years. And that is when I um, stepped away from teaching, um, you know, because because of the effort that I put into this business and the work that I did personally with my mindset, with my own personal and spiritual growth, um, which, you know, income disclaimer, you know, there's Beachbody does not guarantee any income. It's up to your effort, skill, your, what you put into this business is what you get out of this. And, um, I wanted to share with you when Scotty and I were talking about this, you know, what I would speak about, what, uh, what the team needed to hear, hear about, uh, or something that just spoke to me and I was passionate about. This is something that I am very passionate about. So, um, so this is my family. That's my husband, Rob, and my kids, Jordan and Ashlyn. Jordan is 12 and Ashlyn is um, 10 years old. But when I started coaching, um, I was on my postpartum journey with Ashlyn. She was just nine months old and Jordan Jordan had just turned three um, and life was so different. And when I think of, you know, I was teaching full time. I had just gone back to work after maternity leave. I was on my own postpartum journey and very much like struggling from the inside out. And now that I look back, I see how much of it was me struggling truly in the inside. I personally focused so much on that postpartum journey, that physical aspect, um, you know, losing the baby weight. Um, that's how I got started. That's what I focused on in the beginning, all of that. But looking back, what I needed most in this journey, and then as I moved forward as a coach, was the internal work the mindset work, the personal development, the soul work, that is what I needed to work on most. And that, because of that work, that is why I am a great grandma coach right now and almost at my 10 year mark because I have worked so much on that. Um, okay, so 
I wanted to mention first and foremost, because when I, you know, I think about this. So yeah, Scotty talked about how um, we have this bat boot camp group coming up, which is, is super exciting. He'll share more about it. You know, we all have this business activity tracker in front of us. I hope, I hope you have it in front of you. Um, we know, we know the behaviors that we need to do, right? We all have lift more and the four week gut protocol and portion fix to be mindset, bod, body, all the nutritional tools. We have all the same tools and re resources. Every single coach on this call or listening to this recording has access to all of those and has access to sharing all of those. But what truly sets us apart is our mindsets and the work that we're willing to put into our mindset. I have seen it time and time again with, you know, my own personally sponsored coaches, coaches who have come and gone over the past nine and a half years that I have been coaching that truly it, it can, your mindset can either stop you completely in your tracks or your mindset is going to help propel you forward and help you succeed. Because I'm sure every single person that is listening right now can say that they have, and me as well, have um, compared yourself to another person or another coach and have struggled with comparison. Um, you have had many fears, maybe fear of how you might be judged, um, fear of failing, fear of starting a program and not being able to complete it, um, fear of, you know, starting this coaching business and not being successful. Um, you have fear or you have struggled with your confidence. You have lacked belief in yourself, or maybe you have even lacked belief in this business. Um, maybe you have procrastinated. Maybe you have struggled with consistency. Um, has someone said no to you before? Has someone not responded to you at all when you've invited them? Um, have you dropped your rank? Have you tried to reach a certain rank and you haven't gotten there yet? These are just so many different struggles and different um, limiting beliefs and things that can really stop you if you are not consistently working on your mindset. So the, this business activity tracker, you posting, you inviting, sharing your energy, how you feel your mindset comes out in everything that you're doing. Um, so I can't stress this enough about how important it is to um, work on. And I will pull this tracker out again because it is number four, which I like strongly dislike that personal development is number four on your business activity tracker. I truly think that it should be number one. Um, you know, even with proof, the products work like those two things where you are working on yourself and your journey should be number one. So um, I don't like that it's at the bottom, but that's what I'm going to talk to you mostly about today with personal development and your mindset. All right. So I have some, some tips for you um, to share. So number one, and this is a big one for me, is to establish a daily personal development routine. So thinking about my years of coaching, for the first couple years of coaching, I, in the beginning, did not do personal development at all. And um, when I started personal development, it was very hit or miss. So when I wasn't doing personal development at all, I clearly wasn't getting anything out of it. And when it was very hit or miss, and I didn't do my personal develop, development with intention and purpose, I was also not getting much out of it. And it wasn't positively impacting me or my life or my family's life. Because remember, this mindset shift, this personal development um, this personal and spiritual growth that you go through can not only impact you and your business, but it can impact every aspect of your life. Um, so having a specific routine to follow with your personal development is so important. So I read the book, The Miracle Morning, and, and let me go back to not doing personal development. If I ever thought about the number one regret I have ever had as a coach, that would be my number one regret, not digging into personal development sooner and not doing it consistently sooner. Okay, so 
the thing that changed everything, I started to, you know, to listen to books or, and actually like I used to, this is how old I am. I didn't even use, (laughs) not old. I am personally, but as a coach, I, we didn't, I didn't use audible in the beginning. Like it wasn't even available in the beginning. I listened to books on YouTube. Um, and that's how I had access and you can still listen to books on YouTube, but audible is such a great way to listen to books now, but I would listen to books. I would listen to podcasts, things, uh, you know, here and there team calls I would listen to because that's definitely personal development and growth in your business as well. Um, I would listen to those things here and there, but it wasn't until I read the book, the miracle morning. And that's why I put that book here. I have the copy of it right here as well. Um, the miracle morning was a, um, big difference maker when it came to personal development for myself, because um, what it helps you do is essentially set you up with a personal development routine and it suggests you do it in the morning. Let me tell you that I was not a morning person at all. I would, you know, hit the snooze, roll out of bed, get ready for work, go to work, you know, just feeling blah, because I pressed snooze, rolled out of bed and went to work. I had no type of routine. So I know a lot of people are like, I'm not a morning person. Well, neither was I. Um, So I read this book and basically he had an acronym savers that he talked about. And it was, um, stands for silence, affirmation, visualization, exercise, reading and scribing. Um, and you can truly sh- set this routine up. You can take a long time to do. You can spend a lot of time in each of those different places with your morning routine, or you can do an abbreviated version of it. You can make it your own. And that's kind of what I have developed over the years. And I want to share with you what, what exactly that I do. So I have, which I love because this has helped me with my morning routine. I have this planner that I found. It's called Your Hustle and Heart Will Set You Apart. Um, a, a coach created it and I can actually share it with you guys after the call, but, um, it's a six month journal and I've used other planners. Um, I've had, I have like this personal planner that I use. That's like the Aaron Condren one, but it's a plum planner. I had, I've done, I've used the rise up planner. I've used different planners over my years of coaching, but this one is amazing. And actually I'm just, um, September will be my year. I started it last year in October. Um, I was like, I'm not waiting until the new year. I'm going to start it early. I needed a change early on, which I, which I loved. Um, I started, so I set the stage for the new year in October last year using this planner because it's six months at a time. So I'm about to order my next planner for um, the next six months starting in October. Anyways, at the beginning of this planner has a really awesome setup. So it has, um, your why and your vision that you can write in. So then I have a a space to um, go over my why and your vision. And if you notice on your uh, tracker, it also has that space for your why. So I like that. I like that I have my why here and then I have a place for my vision and I I write that out. And so then I have that there so I can read through that. Then there is a place for daily affirmations. And I have some daily affirmations that I read. There's a space for that. There is daily gratitude. So here is like my gratitude um, every day that um, that's kind of like my, you know, my scribing is what he calls it in the miracle morning. And then there is um, an act, an area for your daily journaling, like brain dump. And I actually use that for prayers. So what I do is I wake up in the morning, I do my devotional, I read from the Bible, I pray, I um, do, I read through my why, my vision, read through my affirmations, um, go to my daily gratitude where I I write the things that I'm grateful that morning. And then I have a place to put um, my prayers for that day and kind of, you know, who I'm praying about. Um, Then I do my personal development. Lately, it has been um, the Growth Day app. I've just really been loving. So this is a, an app that Brendan Burchard shared at Summit. Um, it's called Growth Day. It has like an orange background and a sun, if you can see it. That's the Growth Day app. Um, anyways, there's a free 14-day trial that you can, you can use. And then um, it's $37.99. I believe, maybe don't quote me on that, but for the entire year. So 
I mean, you can get two books maybe for $37.99, maybe even one book for $37.99, depending on the book. But, and that's for the entire year. And it's really cool because as there is um, a daily fire message, which I love. So, and I'll talk about today's message because it, it went along with the next point that I'll be making. Um, but there's also places to journal and plan. You can plan out your, your Friday finishers. Um, there's different like journal prompts for like morning mindset and for an evening. There's just really cool stuff that, that is included in, um, in this app. So I've been loving it. I've been listening to those daily fire messages first thing in the morning. And then I go into my workout. Um, again, you can take as much time or as little time as you want with this morning routine. But the point being that you should establish a time, a place um, where you are going to do your personal development on a daily basis. Um, before I was just like winging it and I, and don't get me wrong, it was a good way to start. I would listen to it while I was getting ready in the morning or listen to it in the car. Um, but it was at different times and different spaces each day. And to really like be intentional and process what you're listening to, or to like really understand what you're reading, like doing it at a certain time in a certain place each day really makes a difference. If you have to start with 10 minutes. You know, start whether it's in the morning, at your lunch break, in the evening, whatever time you pick, start small and then go from there. But really establishing that routine, I think, is important. Um, okay, number two, when you are thinking about your mindset and making that shift, um, I loved today's message actually in growth day, cause it went along. I kind of switched this point and called it, um, go for, or be in it for the long haul. His was like about the long game. Um, but I think that is so important when we think about, um, our business and our mindset with this business that you have that long-term mindset. You're not like, um, well, if I don't get a customer by the end of the week, then I'm quitting. Or if or you're, you know, setting these like standards or expectations for yourself where you're not in it in the, for the long haul, for the long game. Um, I always tell coaches, especially in the beginning, like say you'll be here a year from now, commit to that year of, you know, really, truly consistently showing up in this business. Um, but because that mindset is going to make such a difference. If you are thinking that you need to reach a certain goal by, um, you know, by the end of the month or this week or, you know, whatever time frame, yes, you want to have that sense of urgency, but not be like, if I don't do this by then, I'm out kind of mindset. You know, you're, you're in it. You are in it for the long run. Um, if you don't have your summit ticket, you're not in this for the long haul. You should have your summit ticket for next year. You should have that already because in your mind, you are working your business on a daily basis, knowing that you are going to be there at summit next year. You are going to be with your team. That is going to make such a big difference when you're showing up in, when you're showing up on a daily basis, that's going to change your, your energy. That's going to change the goals that you're working towards. That's, that's going to change so much when you know that you're going to, you're going to be here a year from now. You're in it for the long run. Okay, number three um, that has to do with mindset is surrounding yourself with others who are also making personal development and growth a priority. Um, it's very easy to get caught up in, um, you know, people that want to complain or people that want to, um, you know, want to gossip. They want to, you know, be in a different mindset that is not going to help you grow. Yes. There is going to be a point in time where you have to vent maybe, or like, or share something, get something off your chest, talk about something, but you know, it shouldn't be a place I've seen so many coaches that have, you know, worked with other coaches and they end up just, you know, complaining to each other and not being productive and not helping each other in their mindset at all, but more, you know, looking for those solutions together, looking to grow together. And the more that you surround yourself with people like that, who are also wanting to grow and change their mindsets, um, the, that's going to make a bigger difference with the success that you see in your business. 
Um, number four is to celebrate your successes and find the joy. So a lot of times that we can be like our own worst critics, right? And we, um, you know, might struggle to point out the things that we did well, um, or feel like a success is only categorized if it is a, a rank advancement or hitting success club. Yes, those are fabulous and wonderful things to celebrate, but there is, there is success in, you know, sending out five invites that day. That is success. Celebrate it. There is success in doing your workout and sharing it on your stories. That is a success to celebrate. Um, all the little things, waking up at 5 a.m. and doing your personal development, that is success. You need to really celebrate every little thing that you are doing, because if you're not, you're not going to find the joy. If you are being critical of yourself and only saying that you are successful because you've hit this rank or you've hit this number of success club points, you know, that is not joyful. When you are celebrating all the little things that you are doing well in this business, that byproduct is going to be hitting success club. You're going to um, rank advance. You're going to see all those, you know, all those successes along the way too, but you need to celebrate all the little things. That's what brings the big things. All those little things add up um, and celebrating them is very important to keep your mind right um, when it comes to this business. Um, okay, another thing is to learn through it and to be willing to be imperfect. So a lot of times I see coaches that are, you know, not, are expecting to know everything or feel like they need to know everything before they can even really start, um, which this business is truly like a learn as you go. I started uh, coaching when I was an elementary school teacher. I was teaching for almost three years before I did this full time. And I had like zero business background whatsoever. I didn't know anything. I just knew how to be an elementary school teacher. That's all I knew. But I did um, have a huge heart and I had a, a passion for sharing what I was doing because I knew that I was feeling good and I wanted other women to experience it as well. So I think, you know, worrying so much about and having that mindset that you like have to know it all before you can even do anything um, or have to do everything perfectly is a really hard mindset to be in and to really um, be able to see success when you're, when you're being that way. Um, and to just learn as you go to learn through this business and be willing to, to fail and to show up again and fail again and to show up again, because let me tell you, that's all I've done <laughs> over the past nine and a half years is fail figure it out and show up again, fail, figure it out and show up again. That's just what this business is. It's a, it's a reality of um, the ups and downs of the business. Um, okay. So I wanted to share um, some of my favorite personal development books um, and some of the books that really have had a profound effect on my business. Um, and one of them is the gifts of imperfection. Speaking of being imperfect, I actually don't have that in front of me right now, but, um, the gifts of imperfection by Brene Brown, that's the really great book. Um, one of the books that I, I, I actually was going through all my books. We recently at our, um, uh, super weekend, we've had some personal development table, uh, PD swaps where you could put out books and, um, people could, you know, leave one and take one, which is really fun. But I have a problem with like giving up my personal development books. <laughs> but I finally did give up like quite a few. I have them like stockpiling in my office closet and on one on one of these shelves. But um, so when I was going through the books that I still have, it's funny because this book, Failing Forward, is definitely an amazing book. And I was talking about those books that I listened to on YouTube. This was one of them that I listened to. Yeah, see, I see Scotty's. I stockpile like you as well. Um, I really have a hard time giving them away. I don't know. I just am like, 
like proud of the books that I've read and like the work that I put into myself. I feel like that's what they represent when I, <laughs> when I keep them, it's hard to give away, but I know putting them on that table was like blessing another coach's life with that book that I read. So that's why I gave up some. Okay. So failing forward is a great book by John C. Maxwell. I mean, he has so many great books. Um, the compound effect by Darren Hardy is a really, really great book. That is a book that I read early on. Um, this as well, The Slight Edge. And these, um, these two books have pretty much like common themes. So you could definitely pick one or the other, but um, The Slight Edge is a really great book. Um, this is a book that this is made to crave the devotional. I'm actually re I read the book and I'm actually starting the devotional this Monday and I'm doing it with, um, with my wellness community. I've invited some women to do it with me, but I'm always doing a devotional. Um, this book has been, has really helped me with my mindset, with my own personal journey, um, when it comes to nutrition and taking care of my health. So this one's a really good one. Like I said, there's the book or the devotional. Um, a more recent book, The High Five Habit. This is awesome. Very good. Like so good for everyone, for us as coaches, for like human beings, like people in your wellness communities. Great, great book. Um, let's see. Okay. Some, some like business ones. Um, Eat That Frog is an oldie, but a goodie um, about procrastination. Definitely a good one. And it's such an easy read. Like it's, it's a little book which in the beginning, when I was very intimidated by personal development and didn't want to do it, um, books like this helped. Um, another easy read, Go For No, because again, like we were going to hear no's where we should expect no's. This is, this is a really great book. Um, Build to Last, another business book that I love. This is a good one. Um, and then ones that I didn't necessarily have like readily available to grab, um, believe bigger. That is an awesome book. Um, there's also a devotional that they're two separate ones, you know, one's the book and one's the devotional, um, crash the chatterbox, another great book. Um, yeah. So those were, those are some of my favorites. I could really go on and on. Like I said, I have like a closet full and a, a um, shelf full. So, but I, I won't go on and on, but if you ever need personal development recommendations, let me know. I also, like I said, the growth day app, I listen to podcasts. Um, I, you know, listen to books on audible as well. Um, when I'm in the car. So I really just, I really surround myself with a lot of personal development again, which has helped me so much with this business and why I'm here, you know, almost 10 years later. Um, Okay, so I saw this quote the other day and it said, your business isn't built in one day. It's built every day. Uh, well, I tweaked it to make it my own and kind of go with it with this call today. It's built every day. You choose to show up with a positive mindset. Um, I think that's something else. And I just something I wanted to end with. And, you know, if you guys have questions, you can ask questions. But um, we have a choice to show up with a positive mindset. We, you know, we can, you know, lean towards, um, you know, focusing on why we failed and what we did wrong, or we can choose to focus on how we can learn from it and what can we do differently moving forward. Um, we, we have a choice. We have a choice to show up and to do the personal development, to grow and become that person that, um, we need to be for the people that we are sharing this gift with. Um, so I want you to remember that that choice is yours. And I truly hope that you choose to show up and, you know, to change that mind, maybe you're in a place where you feel like you really need to change your mindset, or maybe you're in a place where you know that you need to, um, you know, choose different personal development to help you grow. Cause I've definitely been in those circumstances as well as, you know, maybe the book that everyone's reading that was recommended to me just really isn't working out for me. And I know I have to do something different, but the choice is yours. Um, so choose wisely. All right. I'll stop sharing. I love that, Michelle. This is on my favorite topic and you absolutely nailed it. Um, does anybody have any questions for Michelle before we will take like up to 10 minutes, like five to 10 minutes? 
if anybody uh, has questions. Yeah, so I typed it in the chat, but um, my question was, do you have any pointers on like how to retain the information or like taking notes on the information that you're reading? Because I feel like when I'm reading a book, I get really overwhelmed and it's like, what do I focus on? Because there's so much. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, so a couple of things that I do, um, to help me retain it, um, and comprehend what I'm reading. So I will, if I'm listening to a book, I will actually just, um, take notes in, in a note on my phone. So if I'm driving, I would like stop the book and just like read a quote and like talk to text and put it in a note in my phone. So, um, that's kind of how I take notes, uh, from a, book on audible when I'm in the car. Um, if I am reading a book, I highlight obviously, or underline in the book. So that's one of the reason why I had a hard time giving away is because I feel like I have all these books that are like highlighted and written all over and everything. So, um, I highlight or underline, um, something that I do every day, like with my devotional or I, I'm actually reading, it's not quite a devotional. It's called the well-watered women. Um, that's another great book. I'm just finishing up, but I actually, for my devotionals or that book in particular, I share every day, like a takeaway from it. So it gives me the opportunity to like, kind of comprehend and like take a note on it, but I'm also sharing it with other people. Um, so I'll put that like in my story on a daily basis. I always I share from my devotional. Um, I use a lot of times what I read as a post for, you know, my, my feed or use it as part of a reel I'm making or whatever. Um, I also share it in my wellness journey uh, or journey, not my wellness journey, my wellness community. Um, so I will share takeaways from my reading that day in, in my post and how I'm showing up in my group. So that just helps me like comprehend it more. And then as I'm like teaching it and sharing it with other people, I am able to, um, share that value with other people as well. And that helps me take it in more too. I love Hopefully. that. I want to reiterate that thought. Um, one, one of the things I heard early on is in order to better understand something, teach it to somebody else. Yeah. So that's, that's what Michelle's doing in that case. Um, so one of the things I often do is very similar to Michelle. I get comments on my Instagram posts or face for, for 11 and a half years now, where someone will say like, whether it's a private message or a comment on the post, they'll be like, that's exactly what I needed to hear today. And I'm like, me too, <laughs> because it, that post literally just came from me summarizing or quoting something that I heard in my personal development book. And I'm, I'm currently listening more than reading. And so what I do um, is I, I'm listening on YouTube, I'm not on Audible, I'm, so I'm old school. So I'm listening to um, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Growth right now. So as I'm listening and I hear, and I'm, I'm doing it actually during my workout, like I'll just screenshot if I'm like, oh, that was good. I'll screenshot and then I know where I'm like, where at, and, and then I'll go back and I'll listen to it again. And then I'll take that idea and write a post about it. So that's what I do. So very similar to Michelle in that. And I, so, and then one, another thing is with the growth day app like that, you know, sometimes I'm like multitasking, like I'm driving or, you know, doing other things, the growth day app. Like when I do that quick, like fire message, I do try to like, just soak in what I'm listening to. And I actually, there's, um, in this planner as well, there's like places for notes for that week. And I will actually like title it, you know, growth day, the long game from August 30th. And then I like took some notes from it. Um, so that's on the way that, uh, you know, and then that will help me with future posts as well and to teach it to other people. Um, but I like, I like writing things, highlighting things that helps me learn. Yeah. I think it's also good to remember. Um, it's like kind of avoiding perfectionism in a way that you won't, we won't always understand and remember even probably what 90% of something, 95% will only retain just a small amount of it. So I wouldn't be, beat yourself up too much about it. Just practice a few things. And like, I, sometimes I like, I'll read, read a book and I'll teach it and I'll be like, or I'll read, I'll, I'll be listening and I'll be like, Oh, that's so good. And then it'll be like 30 minutes. I'm like, I know exactly what I'm going to say. And then like 
the workouts done 45 minutes later or 30 minutes later, I sit down and I was like, what? I don't even remember the topic, whether it was on <laughs> time management or what. So I wouldn't beat yourself up too much about it. Hey, Michelle, can you share with us the um, planner that you're using or is that coming later in the talk? <laughs> yeah, no, I will. I'll get the link to it and because I need okay. to order my new one anyways. I'll share it in the team page. How about that? Okay, um, perfect. Yeah, because I really, I, I really love it. Um, just, just so you know, like as part of it, it also has um, a place where you can actually just write in your business activity tracker and check off what you do each day. Um, and then it also has a place for you to, uh, obviously, your typical planner for your daily plans and schedule that day. There's a self care checklist, daily check in list. Very helpful for my business. Like I said, it's been. My, my favorite planner I have found in the past nine and a half years. <laughs> but yeah, I'll share it. Success leaves clues. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Well, Michelle, we're so grateful for you today uh, coming and teaching us about personal development. And I agree it needs to be at the very top of yeah. the business activity tracker. I'm, I'm currently using the app on the phone. Uh, and so it is, it says drink Shakeology do your workout personal development. So it's right at the top for me. So I, I think that's probably one of the reasons I love that one uh, too. So thank you for all of that. Um, all of your advice today on personal development. Um, I was just thinking, uh, just as I wrap this up, my I had to change my mindset so much. Like I had this belief because I grew up in a great religious family. I served a mission for my church, like sacrificed two years and just like, dropped everything, left my family, learned a new language and just served the church every day from morning to night for two years straight. And then fell off the deep end later after I came home uh, with drugs, alcohol, everything that I felt like my mindset, right? I felt that I wasn't worthy or deserving of any sort of success. And so like when I then a lab career didn't work out and I was working in the steel factory 12 hour days for five years. Like I was in a place where I was like, oh, I like I deserve this is like my punishment to work this type of live this type of life uh, because of choices that I made. Because when I was younger, I had all the big dreams and ambitions, but then they all kind of went down and I felt guilt and shame and all of that stuff. So personal development was important, a huge thing for me. And if you're ever wondering, like, how much personal development should I do? <laughs> like me, literally at my 12 hour job, it was 12 hours on an MP3 player, Nokia. I didn't have a smartphone. It was a little MP, little mini SD card I could put in the side of my Nokia phone. And I listened to Think and Grow Rich, uh, the slight edge that Michelle shared and Millionaire Next Door. And then Craig Holiday's 90 Days of Excellence just over and over for like each of those I've probably listened to 60 times in my first year. So that did a lot for me. It changed my mindset about what, what, what I was capable of, that my actions aligned with my mindset and my belief would produce positive results. Uh, but it also gave me something to talk about on my social media because I was like, what kind of value could I add? But as I just learned stuff, I just taught it, learned stuff, taught it. And then when I'd get on a conversation, be in a conversation with someone, I would just like share what I was learning and it just helped me get have conversations and add value and teach people so do not <laughs> skip the personal development so thank you michelle we're super proud of you so are we going to be like success club um 200 months one day yeah yes, i believe it sure. <laughs> hey I'm in it for the long run, Scotty. <laughs> I'm in it for the long run to you. And we hope that each of you guys get that mindset as well, because I want to see you a hundred months from now um, on, on here on a call talking about how your life has changed and, and adding value to the future coaches of this team as well. So thanks, Michelle. Uh, this call is recorded. So if you find it will help one of your coaches, please share it with them. And uh, we appreciate your time, Michelle. All right. Thank you. Okay. See you guys later. Bye, guys.